Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to talk about my top five nude lip products. So I'm giving you five like lipsticks. They're kind of all a mix of different brands and different shades, and so stay tuned if you wanna see that. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would really love it if you did. Um, give me a thumbs up at the end if you like this video. Otherwise, stay tuned. One is kind of hard, but I think I know what it is. So it is, and I mentioned this before, it is a Tom Ford. It's number 14 in Sable Smokes. This lipstick is not cheap. It's like $50, and I feel really bad saying that I actually spent $50 on a piece of lipstick, but it's like one of those things that you've been trying to find the perfect nude and then you can't find it and then you finally find it but it's $50 but you're like this is too perfect that I have to spend the money. That's how I felt. So anyway, this is what it looks like. So the problem with me and nude lipsticks is that they always show up too pink on me. And I'm not looking for a pink lipstick, I'm looking for a nude lipstick. So people with lighter skin tones than mine will look really great in most nudes and it won't show up pink, but for me, it does and that's the problem. And so that's why when I found this, I instantly just fell in love and I knew I had to get it. My second one is the Buxom one. I think I've mentioned this before, but it's the True Nude Lip Foundation. So this is what color it is. I know it doesn't really seem like a nude, but it is a type of nude. And I think the reason why they put this in that category is four different um, skin tone shades. This is how it would show up on me and it's that color right there. Um, I really, really love this nude. It almost is kind of like a terracotta kind of a nude. So I think number three nude that I'm gonna talk about is actually what I have on right now. So I did line my lips with my favorite lip liner of all time. It's so inexpensive, it's like under $10. It's by Rimmel London and it's the color Tiramisu. It's super creamy and glides on really smooth. Kind of filled it in a little with that uh, lip pencil. And then just in the middle parts, um, I take this one. It's by NARS, this is my number three. I think it's called Florales. The only thing that I don't like about this is that I have to sharpen it. And I hate sharpening things. I just wish I could just twist it up like the Buxom ones. It's almost like a peachy nude right there, hopefully you guys can see that. But this together with the lip liner just gives you this gorgeous like nude. It's like a light nude. So number four nude lipstick that I love is another Buxom one. So this one kind of reminds me of like the Kylie Jenner lip color that she's always wearing. It's kind of like a mauve nude. It's called Undressed and it is also part of their True Nude Lip Foundation. And I love this because again, I don't have to um, sharpen anything, I can just twist it. And then this is what it looks like. So that is what it looks like, that top color right there. It's almost kind of like the natural color of my lips. So this is a matte lipstick, just the same as the other Buxom one that I showed you. And so what I do is I just take some chapstick, Carmax or Vaseline, and I just put it on first and then I line my lips and then I put this on top of it and that's just kind of my trick and I don't my lips don't get chapped or anything so it's great last but not least is a nude lip gloss so if you're in the market to find a really really pretty nude lip gloss um, seduction by Charlotte Tilbury is a really really pretty nude that kind of goes with everything this is something that I can really just use on top of any of my nude lips it's just a really pretty creamy gloss, just right there, that's the color. But it's small, you can just fit it in a little clutch to go. Again, I will link everything in the description box down below if you're interested, if I can't find it or if it's sold out, I'll give you alternatives as well. But these are my top five nude lip products at the moment. I hope you guys like this video. If you're in the market for a good nude, try some of these out because I absolutely love them.